Let's learn how to use on element appear activity in UiPath. So on element appear activity in UiPath is a container that waits for a UI element to appear and enables you to perform multiple actions within it. So I've created a small project. Let me run this and show you what it does. So let me run this project. So if I run this, it's going to open a portal. You must have known about this by now. Acme portal. Okay. Now once it goes here, if I click anywhere, it's not going to do anything. Okay. It's not going to do any job. But the moment I click on work items, it will identify that work items has appeared on the screen. Then it will initiate its workflow and it is detecting and telling me user accessed work items. Okay, point number one. Now, once I click on OK, I have written a couple of more workflows which are supposed to download the work items. So, downloaded the work items. Click on OK. Now, if I go to the Excel file, I should be able to see all the work items over here. Okay, so this is the workflow that I have created uh, using on element appear activity. So, let's learn how to do that. Let's start from everything from the beginning so that I can teach you. Okay, so the very first thing, as I told you, the goal of the project is if customer launches this page only when customers goes to work items if he clicks on the work items then it should start the workflow okay so that is what can be achieved by on element appear activity okay so let's do that let's first of all our first activity will be open browser activity quite simple just follow uh, this video along with me and try to do it along with me and here i will go and open the acme home page okay so i'm going to provide you this specific link on the description below or you can take a note of this okay so now let me go back to the studio and place this specific url done now the browser type i use chrome so i'll be going with chrome done after this what i'm going to do i'm going to use the on element this is our topic on element appear activity in UiPath. On element appear activity has been dragged. Now all I have to do indicate element inside a browser. So I want only when customer clicks on work items, only when this appears work items, that is where it should activate. So what I will do, I'll click on indicate element inside a browser and I'm going to click on work items. Okay, so I've done that. Now it is very, very important that you go to the selector and try to check. So you can see the nowhere it has mentioned work item. So let me open in UI Explorer. Okay, so we will modify the selector slight a bit and then it will be good to go. Now you see there is something on the right hand side. There is something called title which contains this entire title, right? So I need this. So let me select this one. So now in the selected title has been added to the XML fragment. Now let me click on save. Okay, hit on okay. So now your selector is perfect. So only when this appears, so the output will be carried to a found element, UI element variable. Okay, see this variable, let me create control plus K. And let me say found element. So the moment it finds work item, it is going to store the all the attributes of that element into this particular output. So this found element is a UI element variable type. Okay. So now let me use this. So what I will do, I will use a get attribute activity, drag and drop this very simple. And the output of on element up here is getting stored in found element variable. And what I want this to become the input for get attribute. So I will say found element. So this becomes the input for the get attribute activity. Okay. So I have typed found element. Okay. So now once this becomes input, what I want, I want the active accessibility name or AA name. So it will say work item. And I want to, to print that to a message box to show that. Okay. Message box. And it should say, let's say it's user accessed. It will say user access and give a plus sign and the output of get attribute should store in a variable control plus k and i'm going to say attribute okay i'm going to write attribute and here i'm going to use the variable attribute 
so the a name or the a name nothing but when i go to the portal this becomes the active accessibility name whatever the ui element you have uh, specified there what is the text written inner text you can pull or a name anything works fine okay so why i said a name let me show you even this so if you go here okay the a name is blank so i should actually pull let me try to do that once again so i am in the ui explorer all you do just to understand what is a name and all of that um, so what i'm going to do go to the ui explorer indicate element and i am going to click on work items okay so now the work item let me add the title all right so generally the a name will have the title so let's let's just run this okay let let's see what this output is being pulled here so let me simply run this before that let me close this two pages which is already open let me just run this and see if it can capture that specific data so i want work item it should show user access to work item okay the page is open now the project is not running because i am using on element up here so this will wait for 30 seconds okay you can increase that time you can decrease the time so within 30 seconds if i click on work items see it has highlighted work items then it should supposed to show user access to work items okay it's showing me the uh, required data so i'm fine okay so what i feel that work item which was not seen over here probably it was if you go slightly right it was somewhere hidden so i cannot see it in the ui explorer but it is there okay so we understood that now the next thing what i have to do okay so now you see even after pulling that uh, it was blinking the screen was blinking right reason being on element appear repeat forever becomes true it might be a true value so even after your work is done it's still trying to highlight that work item so if you don't want that generally a uh, couple of projects do not need this so you can always change this to false remember this point this will be very very helpful repeat forever i am changing this to false in the on element appear activity of ui path okay now wait for active i can make it true uh, wait for it to be visible i can make it true and repeat for hour you can make it to false depending on the need of the project otherwise once it is done the job still it's going to be there and try to continuously check okay if your project needs it to continuously check then you can keep repeat for hour to be true okay so now the next thing what i want i want the work items once customer goes to the specific page i want this to be downloaded so to download i'll be using the data scraping option and i'm going to click on next and i'm going to highlight one of the work, work id and it tells me you selected a table cell would you like to extract the data from the whole table say yes all right so it has extracted the data now all you need to do click on finish okay is the data spanning on multiple pages yes but i don't need that so i'm going to say no all right so once the data is extracted if you highlight this particular activity you will see the data table extract data table there is a variable which is storing the extracted data so i wanted to write that to a excel file right so what i will do i'll use excel application scope quite easy and fast we can build it so i'll use an excel application scope within this do loop within this do uh, form and then here i'm going to point out that specific file which is there in the documents okay this is my file and then i will use a right range activity okay i'm going to use a right range activity and once i place this one um, sheet one a1 so let me check that excel the name is sheet one so let me delete this uh, data and then now it's blank so what i'm going to do sheet one a1 and the variable which holds the extracted data is extract data table which comes from the previous execution okay done so now once it is done let me run this workflow and try to see if it is working the way i am expecting it to work so on element appear okay so now 
so the page has appeared now only when click user clicks on work item that gets activated so if i click on work item you can see it got activated there is a red highlight and after that it tells me user has accessed work items great now it should have pulled the data you can use a message box otherwise you can go to the excel file and you can see the data has been pulled for you okay so this is a small example i am pretty sure this must have helped you to understand the on element appear activity in ui path i hope this is helpful thank you very much guys have a great day and please do not forget to hit on the like button thank you bye bye